Hello guys, it's Farmer Beavis once again and I have some more fruit trees mod stuff to show you. More exactly or more specifically, this stuff here. Yes, we have um, an update to the Emsland trailer. We no longer only have this one here. We also have a single axle version now and a version with um, higher sideboards and we have finally the storage building but um, first of all we're gonna talk about the trailers as you can as I already mentioned or as you can see of course um, we have now uh, Emsland in the one axle version and uh, Emsland dolly trailer which has um, the additional sideboards or side covers or whatever you want to call them yeah, they um, are basically the same as these ones, only that those ones here have um, double the capacity. So it's, um, I think, 10,400 or 11,400. Just, just look into the store really quick. Tippers. And we have 11,400 liters capacity. The single axle one costs you 7,900. The dolly wheeled one is a bit cheaper at 6,900. Both cost. No, sorry, here, here we go. Um, the one axle trailer costs 9 euro maintenance a day, and the dolly tipper costs 8 euro maintenance a day. Yeah, um, they can load pretty much everything. Uh, what do I have in here? Here we have some plums and over here we have some cherries as you can see when you reach a certain low percentage the other boxes get stacked on top but of course you also can load all the other fruits and um, manure, um, mixed ration, all that stuff only one thing if you want to load the spring water for the greenhouses and maybe other uses that it will get with more expansions of the apple or of, of the fruit trees mod coming up you only can use the standard tipper the, the small 5700 liter capacity tipper to um, haul the, the water around only that one can can um, accommodate this little um, tanker on the back yeah um that's about it for the tippers then we're gonna play with the we're gonna explore the um uh storage building a bit sorry uh lost for words again jar jar beavis and all that stuff <laughs> yeah as you can see um once you enter the build or once you're near to the building you get um a little pop-up in the f1 menu telling you the um your current um stored stuff you can store oranges strawberries plums and cherries in here as you see all the boxes get neatly stacked in the corners here you even have a little separation wall here yeah and um per fruit type you can store fifty thousand liters so more than enough for all your fruit storage needs yeah and now I'm gonna show you guys really quick how to load and offload stuff in that thing. You just, let's just say we wanna store these um, plums for a while because we wanna bring them to market later and we need the, the tipper free for other stuff. You just drive through the middle here, preferably without getting stuck. I managed to do that more than once already. Yeah, then you press Q to unload. As you see, the boxes get put away. They are now in the corner there. And let's see, what do we have? Of course, we need to pull forward a bit to be able to fit in there past those giant tires that the case has. Um, and let's say we need some, yeah, some oranges. Uh, to load the fruits, you just have to pull up next to the um, doors here where the where the little um, symbol of the fruit is it says entname here which um, translates to yeah um, take the stuff from here yeah we gotta just make a, a quick turn here 
One thing that I found out is that the trigger zone is a bit, um, whoops, is a bit uh, finicky, so you need to be really close. So don't freak out and think it isn't working when you you not get um, stuff out in your first try. But as you see, when you're close enough, the stuff gets loaded. The boxes appear one by one. Um, Zachary is doing hard work again, stacking them. But he does a good job. Because, of course, we don't want any fruits to fall out on our way to the market. Yeah, and then when we are loaded, we can just pull away. Yeah. That's about it already. I mean, um, the trailers alone were a cool upgrade because um, I think many of you uh, are not terribly. Ter and there it finally happened. I totally tripped over my own tongue. What I wanted to say before my tongue fell out of my mouth was um, that most of you probably weren't terribly thrilled about having to use a dolly trailer all the time so um, i think the one axle tipper is a welcome addition and yeah for hauling the um the water around the dolly trailer isn't half bad yeah then um and of course finally it, having the little storage building working is a huge addition to the fruit trees mod gameplay if you wanna call it that yeah i mean i i wouldn't do the fruit trees mod series if i wouldn't love the the mod so much and all the stuff it adds to the game and before i leave you guys i just want to show you one more thing um these are these are two of the one axle trailers. Um, I mean, the the um, articulated one has the same kind of load features. This is, for example, when you load potatoes, you get actual little potato sacks. And check this out: the upper row is stacked in between the spaces the lower row leaves out. That is such attention to detail; it's crazy. And over here, for example, we have some wheat also comes in nice little bags so yeah that's about it for now i thank you guys very much for your time and i catch you later <laughs>